yeah um, well yeah like you say three months on um, and here we are um, things have changed quite dramatically um, you know it uh, it's been pretty cool to look back on it all and let it all sink in um, and yeah you know the, the winter was going to be very different I was, I was coming up to the last tournament of the year for me was going to be Q school so um, if that didn't go so well who knows you know I would have had to make a decision and if it hadn't gone well then you know I'm not sure what would have happened whether I'd been carrying on or not and uh, fortunately you know Dunhill um, extended me a lifeline and I managed to take it and yeah I think back to the whole week um, you know I was I just changed coaches sort of working with uh, Robert Rock who helped me and gave me a bit of uh, a massive injection of confidence and, and belief and and a swing that was actually starting to work which gave me a lot of confidence too so it was nice to go to one of my favorite events and uh, with a bit more confidence than I'd had you know in in quite a few years so um, it was cool and you know I remember going back there and thinking right you know let's just try and build some confidence try and get you know I know I've got three rounds to build some confidence and hopefully try and make the cut and um, see what happens and I came out of the blocks um, pretty quickly at Carnoustie and uh, you know just got going and you know I've been playing those courses for quite a long time now and I felt like I knew what to do to to not mess it up and you know as I played I kept playing better and better holding some putts and the momentum grew and you know I managed to equal the course record at Carnoustie the first round you know getting that course out of the way with that kind of score was fantastic and that gave me a lot of belief and I felt after that that you know I was in a good position to make the cut um, and you know that's genuinely how I was thinking you know just trying to um, all the you know all the cliches one shot at a time and just not get ahead of myself and um, when I'm, I went to, uh, to St Andrews and uh, after Kingsbarn, a bit of a flat day and didn't really get anything going, but it was still up there. St Andrews, uh, you know, chipped in on Eagle for Eagle on the fifth, and that really got me going and played really solid and left a lot of shots out there and managed to get a three-shot lead. And you know, my thinking out on the course was fantastic. It's as good as it's ever been. Uh, so calm and all driven because of my swing. You know, that because I had confidence in where I was hitting the ball and. I wasn't putting brilliant, but um, everything else was in good shape, and it just it all came together at the right time. And uh, you know, the Sunday obviously the front nine didn't go quite according to plan, um, but the back nine I hold a couple of putts to get me going on the back nine and keep me in there. And everything changed on the sort of ten and eleven, and I was in the hunt. And like I said, my thinking was fantastic, really calm, and uh, hit some great shots down the stretch and, and did everything I needed to do to get over the line. So. It was an incredible week, and I don't think, it, it, well, you know, with only a couple of holes to go, was the only time that I really started to think, okay, this is time to, to get it done. You don't get many op uh, opportunities to win tournaments, especially ones like the Dunhill Links with such good fields. And um, for me, at this stage in my career, it, it was definitely a lifeline, and uh, I managed to to grab it and take it. So, you know, it means the world to uh, to win any tournament but to win that tournament in this, the way I did is fantastic for me and my belief my confidence and moving forwards you know I think um, next time I'm in contention I'll, I'll be I'll benefit from that and have much more confidence that I can actually get over the line uh, when I need to and uh, you know I'm just looking forward to getting back in that situation. I think it was a load of you know the, the emotions were everything was really coming out it was more relief pure relief you know to know that um, I don't think I realized quite what it had done at that time in terms of what it meant you know the relief of getting my car that's the only thing that mattered that week um, you know once I kept knocking off the you know, made the cut and sort of getting in the mix down the stretch you know you're going to finish top 10 you're into the next week that's you know from where I was that was that was all I wanted um, and then to you know to actually get my card sewn up and to be a winner, the difference between a second place, you know, I'd have took second all day long, you know, that got my card, um, got me into some of the events at the end of the season, been fantastic, but to actually win, you know, it gets me a much higher category, got me in the, the HSBC in China, gets me in the Bridgestone this year. Um, it's just um, it's just a whole lot bigger deal um, than, than finishing second. And, you know, when, when I look back at how many seconds I've had, and I've always, you know, I guess I kind of told myself, well, you know, seconds, they're okay. Yeah, you know, they're good. Uh, obviously, you want to win, but 
Um, a win is a big deal and that's why we play the game and the feeling of winning at the home of golf, that kind of event, um, I've never experienced anything like it. Um, it's quite addictive and I'd, I'd like to uh, experience it again, but yeah, it's, it's incredible and that's, you know, that's why we play. Yeah, I mean, I think it's one of those things where you, you, you go, you know, it, it's great, but um, you don't expect it because you comp you're competing against each other. But, you know, it, it, golf is, um, so it's kind of a family. And, uh, you know, I've, I've had success in the past where, you know, when you play on a Ryder Cup team, um, it creates bonds and friendships and you're going through something that is so unique. Um, and for me... After being sort of re so removed from that environment for so long, uh, you know, I hadn't seen Pulse for a couple of years, or maybe longer, three years. Same with Rory, uh, Westy. You know, everyone who sent those tweets uh, and the messages, um, I hadn't seen them for two, three years. So you, you kind of remove yourself from those situations, and you you kind of feel like everyone else has forgot about you. Um, so for that to all come back and people to send messages and as many people as they, they, they did send messages and, and actually took the time to get in touch um, it meant a lot it was really nice you know it's good for the confidence it makes you feel like oh you know I'm kind of back you know and back into the environment and you need that you know that's when you when you're growing up and you're playing golf you need to be feel comfortable in your environment when you're playing and um, that's part of it and when you're accepted and you feel like people want you to do well especially the guys out on tour um, it means a lot and it helps you sort of get back into that environment so it's been it's been great and it's been nice to play those tournaments at the end of the year to actually see everyone in person and and uh, catch up and um, it's been good you know so those few few months since the Dunhill have been fantastic to get myself back in sort of bedded in the tour and um, start 2015 fresh and uh, excited and looking forward to see what can happen. Yeah, it was on the tenth. It was nothing. <laughs> it was nothing uh, too dramatic. I think some people want it to be. I don't know what he could have said, but you know, I, like I said, I hadn't seen him for two or three years, so it was just saying hi and uh, catching up. I saw his dad earlier in the week and had a chat, and um, that's all it was really, just a chat. And you know, he said stick in there, and uh, I did. <laughs> so I, uh, you know, that was really it. You know, it's, it didn't it wasn't anything. Uh, too exciting it was just uh, basic stuff but it was just you know nice touch anyway <laughs>